Hey everyone, this is Miss Mara, and today I have three different toys from OxyShop that I'm going to be reviewing. But first, if you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have new videos every other week, and I'm streaming all the weeks in between. You can also follow my Instagram and Twitter accounts at Mara Domina. OxyShop is an online catalog of BDSM toys geared towards mistresses and submissive males globally. Medical grade non-porous stainless steel is used to make most of the toys, which makes it body safe for all kinds of play. Their biggest sellers are the chastity devices, two of which I have in the form of cages. So what is chastity? Chastity is the practice of refraining from extramarital or all sexual intercourse. It's a form of self-restraint, also known as abstinence. Virginity equals purity in religious views, which is why those who are called to serve religion take a vow of celibacy to free themselves from human relations so that they can give their all, their love, their entire being to God or whomever they worship. Civilizations have adapted this virtue as a moral standard. In kink, chastity gives the control of a person's release to the key holder. They are, in turn, in charge of your body, mind, and soul, depending on the intensity of duration, just by isolating that sexual organ. This is an umbrella that can serve from a single person to multiple people to different dynamics beyond simple dominance and also cuckoldry and forced or ruined orgasms. The first one we have today is the CBT Male Punisher. This is a sophisticated one size cage that can go from anywhere just past the tip or the base of the male organ. It comes with a leash and a detachable ring. Solid, sturdy, weighs a good pound or so. There are two screws on opposing sides making it a total of four. Adjustable for pressure and sharp squeezing to your liking. They do come out all the way, so it's great for cleaning. Just be sure not to lose them. Things to watch out for. The padlock releases immediately once the key is inserted and the cage automatically opens the detachable piece slides right off, so you must be ready to catch it upon release. The padlock is also secured on to the cage. You need this specific hex or a matching Allen wrench that will fit into these screws. To adjust each of them. You either need to bring this with you at all times or be in the vicinity of one just in case your key is not present. Next is the Rainbow Effect Short Cock Cage, a beautifully colorful cage for a shorter nub with three different ring sizes and a detachable urethral spout for the ease of restroom use. The rainbow plating is done by vacuum metabolizing, which means it is body safe for steel coating without pollution. You can read more about the method on the website links found in the description below. It comes in five pieces all held together by a single lock at the hinge. The set of keys opens the lock with a slight turn once inserted. The ring is the last to hold the cage to the body behind the sack. The middle ring is a removable piece that has three fixed spikes on the top. The urethral tube is held in place with a screw that attaches to the outside center of the cage. It's going to be a pain to use the restroom with this on and to clean the tube out thoroughly, it must be removed daily. 
I think this is a great cage for short-term play or a multi-hour scene. And last but not least, and my very favorite out of the three, is the locking butt plug. This is a 24 karat gold-plated version, which I have in my hand. It is a unique design that I haven't really seen previously. It comes as a plug with a separate turn ring, a lock, and a set of keys. This is available for play for all genders, and there's also a silver stainless steel version. To use it, insert the key into the lock, turn it, and remove the lock. Next, you're going to take your turn ring and insert it into the slot I would prefer the ring to be attachable to the end so that I could insert and remove the plug while it is closed as a form of play or even attach weights to it. The hole almost fits the lock, so with a little bit more calculation this could have been feasible. A leash could even be attached to the ring should that work in future versions. Once it's inserted into the slot, all you have to do is turn so it expands like so. The petals have a beautiful lotus shape. However, for the gold version, the hammering is very apparent and not completely smooth on all sides, so it gives a bit of a handmade feel if you like that. Cleaning each crevice will be a challenge, so be sure your submissive is very attentive to detail. All in all, it's a beautiful piece that appeals to my spiritual side, my love of nature, and of course, my dominance. OxyShop has much more in stock on their website. Go check them out and use my code MARA, M-A-R-A, to receive a discount. Entering my affiliate link works as well. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it so that others who are interested in chastity can learn more about it and peruse what OxyShop has to offer. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Instagram and Twitter accounts. And as always, be safe, have fun, and keep it kinky, everyone.